What's going on everybody? We are out here fishing as usual with Ethan. Funny story. I think I told the story last time I was fishing with him. A lot of you guys are new though, so you guys probably haven't heard the story, but I fished with him, what was it, November? Yep. November. We fished together in November on this lake actually. Funny story, John B and I were fishing a tournament on Table Rock Lake last like October. And I asked you Twitter folks that follow me for some help because John B and I were struggling. Well this this dude over here slid into my DMs and told us a, a juicy spot. We pulled up and John B caught, I think, like two good fish. I don't know. I think that was pre-fishing, though. It wasn't for the actual tournament, but like, I think we, we we actually got some fish. So kind of funny story. Yeah, so that's that. John B caught some fish because of this guy here. And he actually lives in, in the same city I do. So we're out fishing here today. He says the bite is going to be fire. There's a lot of docks, so we're probably going to be flipping docks. So I don't know if you guys like dock flipping, but I'm going to start off with, you're starting off with what? A buzz bait? Yeah, I think so. Buzz bait. I'm gonna do the old plop daddy. You gotta do it. We're gonna see if we can get some top water madness going. I mean, I didn't wake up at you know, 4.45 not to throw top water. And then we're probably gonna flip, flip some docks, do a little bit of a little bit of juicy dock skipping and all that fun stuff with jigs and Texas rigs and all that fun stuff. So that's it. I'm gonna quit talking. Gonna tie on the old plop daddy. Hopefully we can catch some fish. Crazy. Huh. There you go. Oh God, that's a good one. Okay, okay. There we go. First fish of the day, folks. We tried buzz baits, ploppers, swim jigs, square bills, and you whipped out the old jig. Exactly what you said. They're on the flipping bite. Look at that. That's a beast of a fish. God dang, that's a beast. Oh shoot! Come here, buddy. There we go. He jumped over the net. It's kind of hard to film a net at the same time, but dude, he choked that jig. He wanted it. Boy. Four, three, four, boys. First one. Dang. Choked the jig. Choked the jig, folks. That's a good start to the day. We're gonna, I've got a little T rig on. He's throwing a jig. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna see if the Texas rig works. If not, I'll probably tie on a jig, but now we've uh, converted tactics to flipping i tried top water just they didn't they didn't want anything to do with the top water so we're gonna start flipping docks there you got them cast that's a good one you want the net or you good oh yeah okay there you go kind of like an offshore deal maybe we gotta fire it up. i know that's why i was like i'm gonna throw i'm gonna throw in there because if we can get doubles that'd be sick yep we got doubles yeah buddy not a giant, but I'll take it. That's my first fish. Not a giant, but we got God, dude, you got a toad. All right, I got to come up here. here. You got a giant. I got a little squeaker. Look at that. Yours could eat mine. That's giant, dude. For four and some change. I'm going to let mine go, though, obviously. Yeah, exactly. He's just a little squeaker. He's throwing a jig, and I'm throwing this little Texas rig. I think I'm going to switch, though, because uh, he's caught in two big ones. What does she, she weigh here? Got a four, four, three. There we go. Like I said, I'm throwing a Texas rig. He's throwing a jig. He's got two because I got a small one. So I'm gonna switch, but I was gonna show you kind of, kind of guys what I'm using. I wanna do somewhat of a tip video here with the docks because a lot of you guys probably have access to fishing docks. And sometimes they're a little bit different. Right here is a little Texas rig. I've got a tungsten weight. If you guys want any cheap tungsten, I have a, I have a link down below. I've mentioned it plenty, plenty of times for you guys. And I have a lot of you guys message me and say that you picked them up from there and you loved it because it's cheap. This stuff is the best stuff on the market that's the cheapest. So I'm telling you, if you guys want tungsten, it's 100% worth it. But if you guys want tungsten, I will leave the link down below for cheap tungsten. And then I've got like a four out round bend heavy duty hook and a little, just kind of like a little creature bait. A little bit lighter color, trying to imitate some some sunfish, some bluegills. But he's caught in two big ones. I've caught a small one, so I am going to switch. I'm going to go to over to a jig, but I just want to show you guys that is the setup I'm using for my first catch of the day. There's one. There it is. There's a good one. Finally. There we go, baby. Woo! Oh, Mosquito Squad guy came and said, what's up? So shout out to you, Mosquito Squad guy, if you're watching this video. And I just caught myself a one-eyed fish, for one. 
probably three pounder. Let's smoke the little jig. It's about freaking time. That is the jig that I'm throwing. I'm throwing a little creature bait on there. I've never really thrown a color like this. It's like bright orange, but Ethan said this is the color of the sunfish in this lake. So that's what we're imitating right now. We've been fishing docks for hours. It seems like, I don't think we had a bite in like, I mean, we didn't caught a fish in at least an hour. It's about 1030 now. So we're gonna see if we can catch a few more. I don't want to get out here and get skin cancer with this freaking blazing sun, but I'd like to catch a few more fish. We're going to try flip more, some more docks and uh, hopefully we can catch another biggin. There you got him. Biggin? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. We're starting to get him dialed in, folks. He's hooked up. Oh. He's running him around. This is getting intense. There we go. She's in the net. Another jig fish. Starting to get some more bites, folks. Like I said, we went a couple hours, no fish. He just caught two and I just caught one, so... One thing to, one tip, I'm gonna try to give you guys as many tips as I can in this video for jig fishing, but one tip in particular is to wait till the sun gets up and it's hot because fish use the docks for, for shade and for, for cover. And so that's one tip. We've noticed that since the sun's out and it's hot, we're starting to get a lot more bites. So I'm gonna try to catch a couple more fish and then stay tuned if you guys wanna learn how to dock fish, uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna try to pick apart docks and show you kind of where to cast on the docks Maybe give you a different, couple different lures you could throw depending on the, the conditions. Just give you guys a dock fishing 101 along with some fish catches. Here it is, folks. This is, this is where magic, magic's gonna happen. We've got the old juice tied on. The old 14 year old Ethan special, as he calls it. Got like a quarter ounce shaky head with a purple and pink little curly tail worm on a uh, spinning rod, so. We're gonna, we're, I don't know. He just, he told me, to put it on and we're just gonna see if we can catch a fish here. There he is. Yup, yup. Good one, good one. That was the first cast, boys. That was the first freaking cast. That's a good one too. I'll put him in right here. Yep, that's a good one. Oh God, that's a toad. Yes, dude, look at the net job. Bruh, you is the MVP with that net. Yes. He smoked that in the air. That's a giant. That's a freaking giant. First cast, folks. What, what kind of combination is this? You weren't even kidding. I'm not, dude. I thought this dude was just jacking with me. Like, throw this. Throw this random, look how jacked up that is. But I just smoked a four pounder. We'll throw that one on the scale, that's a giant. Four, six, seven, boys. I think that, that is the biggest of the day, I think. We, we blanked on tournament day and I caught my PB the day before. Yep. All right, we're trying to see if we catch another fish here. Yep, yep, yep. Another one, another one. Back to back, baby. That's another good one. That's a good one. It's not. It's not quite as big, but I'll take it, dude. This little freaking worm you have here. You're Im we're imitating gummy worms here, folks. That's a three and a half. We're on that gummy worm pattern. That gummy worm pattern. There it is, folks. Three pounder. What's funny is this doesn't even help our top five, and that's like some three and some change, which is unreal. We've got an amazing bag. We're gonna take some awesome photos later, but right now we are on. Whoa, whoa, chill. We are on the pump pattern. Teresa. 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 The old gummy worm special. I just went two, I went two for two. This is the Ethan special. I'm not taking any credit. I'll link everything down below if you guys want to buy any of this stuff. I'll link it down below. Apparently this is the juice. Uh, I'm going to see if I can go three for three here though. We found this little little sweet spot. And I'm just dragging this thing along. And... Okay, I'll try not to. So far, I've caught a, almost a five. There he is. Yep, that's three for three. That's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. That's a good one. That's three for three. I'm giving away the best spot. <laughs> Dude, that's that's three for three. That's unreal. Yep, that's a good one. Yes. I thought yes. The, I thought, I thought the bait your, came yeah. off. Oh, my God. I don't even know if that's going to help that's us. Not that's not either. Cool. All right, not, not going to help the old limit here. See you, buddy. Here we go, folks. Four for four. We're doing big things here. This is going to be a record for me. Four for four with three and a half to four pound fish. There it is. 
Yep, got him. Four for four. Yep, four for four, folks. Dude, that's a good one. I got, no, I got you. You're, you film, I got it. Don't worry. I'll multitask here. We're hooked up, baby. We're doing big things out here. The old gummy worm special. That's a giant. God dang, that's a giant. Get out of that motor, boy. Here we go, here's professional bass fisherman landing. Yes! That's a little bit better. But I still don't know if it's gonna help us. Look at that, little gummy worm special. I don't think that's gonna help us either. What do you think? I mean, it's like... They're all the same size. They're all that size. I'm gonna weigh them, just for fun, just yeah. so these folks at home can see what the weight is. Three, six, eight. Yeah, so they're all three and a halfs. I just caught three, three and a halfs, and actually that last one was probably a little bit even bigger. Our smallest fish is bigger than this fish right here. What are we naming this one? Ooh, it's your pick. Uh, let's, let's go. go. Let's go Lauren. Lauren? All right, yeah. see you later, Lauren. Whoop. Back in the water, Lauren goes. That's four for four. I'm gonna take this camera though. We gotta let we gotta let Juice Man over here catch some fish. I don't wanna I don't wanna hog the hog the honey hole here. That's crazy though. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up for the four for four challenge. Never what? done never done that before. That is that is nuts. Eventually, day is coming to an end. We kept our best five. We're gonna weigh these one by one and release them nice into the water. Let's we'll see what we have for the old the old tournament limit. Four seven two. All right, four seven two back in the water. Got four twenty eight. Yep, 428, that's the second one. Third one, 43, that's about the same size as four, yeah, the other one's 428, that's 434. 439, yeah, you definitely got me on this whole 20 pound thing. Yeah, I think we're gonna that's, uh, that's another one, what was it, four what? 439. 421, well, you definitely broke 20 pounds. 421. 21, almost 22. Dude, I was about dead on. You were right, what'd you say, 22? I said 22, spot on. This boy, this boy is way better than me. I underestimated. I thought we had like all three and three quarters and a couple fours. Every single one was over four pounds. That's crazy. What the hell is a bag? That is a hell of a bag, folks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not actually gonna end it here. I'm gonna try to add one more segment at the end of this video because I told you guys I was gonna do some dock fishing. I know this video is probably getting super, super long. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get my uh, sketch artist swag on and try to sketch out some docks and show you guys where to throw your lure and what lures to throw next to docks to catch big old bass. Six and a half hours later. What's going on folks? Back home and as promised, I am gonna go through to very quickly. I know this video is probably pushing 13, 14 minutes. I get it, I know. But for those of you guys that want to know how to catch fish on docks like we did today, and granted the four for four wasn't on a dock, that was on a pump that was pumping water into the lake, which is another tip for you guys. If you guys have any incoming or outgoing water on any lakes or ponds, that's where you want to fish. Anyways, I've got, I've got this little piece of paper here. This is my beautiful sketch of a boat on a dock. That little X with the, the lines, that is a, uh, that's where you're, you're fishing essentially. But basically where you want to fish is where those little circles are on the corners of the docks. That's where the posts are. Bass love to face up again, put their faces up against the posts of, of different dock, you know, different lay downs, different structures, any type of cover. That's what they really enjoy doing. Uh, they just kind of gives them a sense of security. So those little circles there, that exact, those are exactly where you want to make your cast. It's, there's like insides and the outsides ones. I, for me personally, I notice there's fish usually on the inside ones more in the morning and then on the outside ones during the afternoon. I've heard completely opposite things from other guys though. I've heard, you know, they'll go to the opposite one or they'll go to the outside one in the morning because that's like, you know, they're out roaming and then they'll go to the inside one, you know, once that sun gets up and they're trying to get away from the sun, from the sun and get in the shade and whatever. So that's not, I'm not really too sure about that one. But the other thing that you want to cast towards is the motor. Under the motor creates a little bit of shade and, uh, and I've caught some fish under that. So you want to fish the four corners and the motor. Those are my very simple, quick tips for you guys. I know that's pretty generic stuff, not gonna lie. That's not really like cracking some dock fishing code secret thing or anything like that by any means, but at least that'll get you guys started. Uh, there's plenty of YouTube videos about dock fishing though. You know, I didn't want to make this like a tutorial video because I think those are fairly, fairly boring for you guys to watch, but I want to give you guys some tips. And as far as lures go, I'm, I'm kind of a soft plastics guy to be honest, 
but we caught more more fish on jigs jigs are great soft plastics are great um it, like basically anything that can skip like so like you know a beaver bait or you know jigs obviously skip skip well swim jigs skip well sanko skip well fluke skip well another secret lure if you're really having a tough time catching fish on docks is throw a shaky head basically what i was doing today but i usually don't throw a curly tail worm that looks like a uh a sour gummy worm i usually throw like a straight tail watermelon red seed or something like that uh, just straight tail worm, like a little finesse worm. For some reason, throwing a small finesse worm on, on a shaky head under docks seems to catch fish when, when like a jig won't and stuff like that. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make this video any longer. Hope you guys enjoyed. Caught four for four. I know I'm going to get some of you haters in the comments. They're going to say that's BS flare. You, uh, you, cut, you chopped it up and you made it look like that they could be a hundred casts and you, that you just made it up and said four for four. You know what? You're right. I could have done that. I didn't do that. But if you want to believe that, go right ahead. I'm not going to lie to you guys. There's no reason for me to lie. I mean, it's not really that clickbait of a title. I mean, it's not that interesting. I've had a lot more eventful things happen to me in my life while fishing. So anyways, uh, if you think that it's fake, that's great. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I know it's not fake. So, you know, that's that. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and peace.